Alrighty. What a uh, surprising end to WWE. The authority getting one up tonight. I was going to do like a troll. <laughs> a negative review just to troll the ne do the uh, diehard WWE addict, but fuck it, I'm just going to do it the way I the way I watched it. We start off the second half with a tag team match. AJ Lee and Tamina versus the Bella Twins. Brie Bella looks a little uh, shaken up after she saw Daniel Bryan getting uh, taken out by the Wyatt family. And she was forced to compete. But AJ and Tamina pick up the victory. Whatever, it was an okay match. Moving on to a uh, promo from uh, CM Punk saying that he was able to sleep easy uh, last night now that he he was able to do what he finally was able to do, which was take out uh, Paul Heyman and to hype up the uh, match between him and uh, Ryback late after the commercial break. We come back from the commercial break. The pull comes in. Street fight. Ryback comes out. Short street fight. CM Punk uh, does the uh, Macho Man elbow onto Ryback, putting him through a table. Then locks in the Anaconda Vice. Whatever, it was alright. Plus, it was a submission, and I'm a sucker for submissions. Hey, like submissions. Then uh, the Wyatt family come out. They attack. Uh, they attack Punk. Kind of leading up to an angle, going into su Survivor Series. It's nice. They took out Brian and Punk, so yeah, could could be a great Survivor Series match if they're going. Good, if they're taking it that into uh, that. And next we have another tag match, Real Americans versus uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust. Good tag match. Real Americans win. Moving on, Natalia Summer Rae. It was a good Divas match. Uh, Summer Rae looks pretty fucking impressive. She was able to go, go, go against Natalia. And she was even uh, even uh, putting submission holds on Natalia. She uh, did an Indian. She uh, locked and locked in an Indian death lock on Natalia. Natalia Natalia locks in a sharpshooter, wins. Eh, decent divas match, but we could have done without F Fandango, Kali, and Hornswoggle. <laughs> Fuck! They just weighed that match down. Without them, it would have been an A-plus Divas match. Moving on to the final segment, which was uh, Randy Orton's championship celebration. So, the way it starts out, it starts out like it was the night after SummerSlam. Triple H, Stephanie come out. Triple H introduces Randy Orton. And he goes on a whole spiel about a decade ago how uh, Vince McMahon saw, talked to Triple H about who he thought would be the face of the company and he's saying that Randy Orton was that face and brought up Evolution how he was Triple H his creation and somehow he watched him turn on him go after him and his family but Frankenstein's creation came back and became the true face of the company then Randy Orton comes out Triple H, Stephanie and Orton all group hug in the middle of the ring Orton cuts a promo kind of reminiscent of the uh of 2004 Orton after he won the world title saying how I'm 
better than the fans and better than the people standing on the stage. Kind of reminiscent of that time. I, I enjoyed it. It was alright. And then... Then the big show comes out. He's, that go, goes halfway down the aisle. Gets attacked by the shield. Then you see the Usos and the Rhodes brothers attack the shield, shield gets thrown into the whole huge group of superstars, they fight to the backstage, leaving the big show standing there in front of the McMahons and Randy Orton, big show comes into the ring, they scatter, and then uh, big show argues about how the lawsuit he's filed can bankrupt the company cost them millions and he can do it because he has nothing left to lose then brings in Orton to attack him from behind and then Stephanie directing traffic Orton grabs the belt and looks like he's gonna knock a uh, Big Show in the head with it then Big Show just balls up his fist and knocks him out and then he's goading Triple H to get into the ring and fight him Stephanie backs him down. Big Show leaves leaves the ring. Leaves the ring. And tri you see the look of Triple H and Stephanie being pissed off. And the weird part about it, I I said this before. I haven't said this yet, but it's kind of weird saying this. But my high school crush was Stephanie McMahon. Was she was fucking hot back then. And she's still hot now. Whatever. Raw was alright. Give it like a six and a half or a seven. Peace the fuck out.